Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fixing Critters on the Farm. So today, I was hoping to do a video showing how we AI sows, artificially inseminate sows here on the farm. Um, yesterday, we had a sow that was going into heat, and we AI her successfully, it was my daughter and I, and, but we didn't have enough hands to use a camera. So today, you know, I was pretty sure we were going to get her on the end of her heat cycle here and my husband was there to take the video and <laughs> she was not gonna have it. She was not interested in being in heat anymore. <laughs> she was fighting with the young boars that we were using. Um, in an ideal world, I would have an actual boar standing at her face, you know, through the fence that she could kind of talk to and, you know, that helps to get them to stand and lock their legs and, you know, pop their ears and show that they're actually in standing heat so that you can AI them. And that's what happened yesterday. We have three young boars that aren't even close to being ready for actual service. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe they have enough pheromones coming out of their, you know, their, their mouth and everything to talk her into it. But yesterday, yes, today, no. So I'm sorry I didn't get the actual footage of AIing a sow. I tried to kind of compensate by basically dumping my semen into a bucket so that you could kind of see how it's done. Um, you know, in my living room, <laughs> it's not exactly the same thing, but I think you can get the idea. You know, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment in the comments below and I will try to um, answer them the best that I can. Uh, in theory, if I were going to AI sow today, I would have my semen, obviously, my um, non-spermicidal lube, lubricant, my AI pipette, you know, or AI stick here, and a bucket with some warmish water and a rag to wipe the sow off. So the first thing I would do was obviously I would wring out my rag and just wipe the sow's vulva, wipe around that area so that it's nice and clean um, and I'm not dragging any dirt or mud into her vaginal tract. The next thing I would do is, of course this is assuming that she's in standing heat and I've got a helper who can keep her kind of preoccupied by laying across her back so she feels like there's a boar on her. Um, ideally, you would have a boar scent, boar breathing, like a real boar actually breathing into her face, or they sell bottles of boar scent that you can, like aerosol that you can spray in their face. I haven't had super good luck with those, but um, maybe they've improved them in the years. I, that was many years ago that I used them. So you unpack your semen and pull your ice bags out of the way. And here's my tube of semen. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this ready before I unpack my semen. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, this thing ready. So I take my lube and I put a small dollop just on the end of it, like that, okay? Um, once I get it up to the vulva, what I'm gonna be doing is I'll take that lube, uh, that, that um, lubricant, and I'll just kind of swirl it around a little bit just to lubricate the opening of the, the sow's vaginal canal. Once I push this, the rod in there, you're gonna go at an angle that is a little bit up. You don't want to go tip it down because you're going to end up trying to push into the bladder, which is definitely not going to work and it's going to be uncomfortable for the sow. So you want to just tip it up a little bit and kind of run along the top, along the top of the sow's uh, vaginal canal. And when you feel like it hits something in there, that's her cervix. And their cervix is actually very similar to the grooves in our fingers here. So you're going to feel that little bit of pressure and you're just going to give it a little bit of a bump. You can twist it a little bit until it kind of pops in there. And once you once you get in there. When you pull back on the straw, you should kind of feel like there's a bunch of meat pulling in there too, right? If it's just going like back and forth like this, you're not in the right spot. But if you've screwed it in there a little bit and you can feel that there's some pressure, you know, when you just very lightly, you know, tug on it like this, you can feel the whole thing moving, then you know you're in the right spot. All right, at that point, I would get my semen out. And it's hard to do with just one person, but these little things are meant to twist off. And so I would twist this off. You don't want to squeeze it. It's like one of those little kid drinks, the Capri Suns. They'll shoot it everywhere. Okay, now, so this rod is in place. It's inside of my sow. I take this thing and I place it on the end there. And I want to get it pretty snug. Now, if there's, if your, your helper is doing their job, they're on their back kind of squeezing with their thighs, maybe like essentially riding the sow. And what you'll do is you'll take your semen and you'll go ahead and tip it up. Now it's gonna just shoot out, of course, because there's no uterus on the end, this end to keep it from pouring out. Um, but by holding it there like that, 
And if the person's moving around enough, the, the sow's uterus will actually sort of suck this down. And you can see it go down. If you think the sow is kind of not going to stand super great, you can just gently, just gently squeeze it. You don't want to be, you're not trying to fill it up real fast. Um, you're trying to go nice and slow. So, you know, just a gentle pressure on it to let it go ahead and um, empty the, the bag into the uterus. You want to be gentle with this. Obviously, you're not trying to shoot it in there as quickly as possible. Um, I'd like to maybe have it be done in, I don't know, maybe two to three minutes. That's, to me, a good timing. Um, and sometimes, once if the sow's uterus is really you know working properly and your helper's like wiggling around on her back and she's in a nice, strong, standing heat, you can just literally just sit there and watch it kind of... Not that fast, maybe, but it'll, you can see it kind of go down slowly. Um, so you want to empty the whole bag in there as best you can. All right. And then when I'm done, I like to pull the bag off. And some of these, let me get the rest of that out of there just so it's not on my floor. Some of these um, things come with a little cap that you can like cap that in there. And then I like to leave this thing in the cell locked into her cervix for another couple minutes while I'm cleaning up my mess. And then I just really gently um, kind of unscrew it until I feel it pop loose and then you can just pull it right out. Okay? That is the basics for AIing a sow. It is not a difficult procedure. Getting them in heat and getting them to stand, that could be kind of the tricky part, but actually the actual procedure of getting the semen into the, the right spot is not difficult. Once I'm done AIing the pig, I bring my semen tube, which inevitably has a little bit of semen left in the bottom, and I will do a quick semen check. Um, and this has been sitting in here for a while, so it's a little bit too, oops, a little bit too cold, a little too old. Um, but, oh, that's way too much. That's all right. And uh, we'll check that underneath the microscope here. This is the problem of doing it with one hand. It's impossible. I'm gonna hand the hand the camera off here. All right, put that in there, and fuse. You're in, I'm, you're in the way. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. All right. Anyway, and then I'll check the semen, and I can see um, in the ocular view thing that they are there are plenty of semen in there. Um, they're not moving a ton because they're cold. I forgot where my focal point here is. This is not easy to do. Did you see them go? Yeah, there. So you can see them in there. They're, the whole slide is kind of sliding because I overfilled it and put the slide cover on it. Sort of makes the water tension um, make it move. But you can see their little heads moving around a little bit, their tails flapping. Um, if they were warmer, they would be moving a little better. And of course, this is semen that was shipped, was collected on Monday, shipped on a Tuesday, and today is Thursday. And I'm I just uh, artificially inseminated one of our sows. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bowl actually. And then the semen has been sitting in this tube for about half an hour while I cleaned up and came back in the house. So, you know, I, I'm happy enough with this. You know, it's hard to say if that's going to be like a fertile, you know, fertile semen, but it should be. The company that I order from is reliable. I've used them in the past and had, you know, just about 100% results. Um, Even though you didn't actually get to see a pig get inseminated, I sure hope that this video helps you feel more comfortable if that opportunity arises on your farm. Until next time, have a good one, you guys. Bye.